I know this isn't much to do a cold start off because it's newer, but it has a story behind it, so I'll do one. But let me talk about it first. It's I'm not well. I'm not exactly sure what year it is, but according to the code, the engine is in 1995, and the fuel tank was made in 1997. So my guess is it's a 97, and they had the engine sitting on the shelf since 95. But as you can see. Briggs & Stratton, 18 horsepower, uh, horizontally opposed twin cylinder, and uh, 46 inch industrial commercial everything. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I don't know of any industry that would use a Murray. Uh, they would go broke. But I like the deck and the fact that it sticks out so far to one side. It's good for getting around bushes and fences and things. It's a bush. And, uh, <laughs> but. I got this in, uh, mower excuse me, from uh, a guy, I put my name in with the local, one of the local small engine repair shops because they used to take old mowers from people and uh, you know try to junk them or sell them for this project and that's where I actually I got my Massey Ferguson from but they don't do that anymore, they don't take them in so I left my phone number telling them I take in mowers and work on them so I've had two different lawnmowers I've gotten from people, and uh, this being the second. And this was given to me for free. It sat in the barn for about two years. At the end of this video, I'll send you a picture of what it looked like when I got it home. And uh, he got a replacement. As you can see, it wasn't really abused because it's in decent shape. But he wanted to get rid of it. It was taking up space. So he called me and said, you want a lawnmower? I said, well, yeah. So, what do you want for it? Free. So, I said, free is for me. And I went to Selma again and got it. And uh, we put the fuel pump uh, diaphragm kit in it because it wasn't picking up fuel. Cleaned the carburetor and uh, put a battery in it. And that's about it, I think. I don't think we did anything else to it. Oh, well, well. Not to get it running. We put tubes in the tires because all four tires were flat and would not hold the air. So all four tires had brand new tubes. And I spent a long time cleaning it up because when you see the pictures of it, you'll definitely see the difference. The inside of the hood, I didn't clean so you can see what it looked like. This coming Sunday, uh, I've got a guy with a hood just like this one and he's got the good uncracked uh, light lenses, uh, the covers, so I'm going to get those put those on there and he's got some sockets too because my sockets are melted somehow so I'm going to have it completely working then that's the only thing left is those uh, light lenses and light sockets I thought about fixing it and selling it and my wife liked driving it so much I'm going to keep it for her to drive since she don't like our old lawnmower she'll ride this one and that's fine with me so let us do a cold start for what it's worth <laughs> There's where they screwed up the steering wheel, of course. So I give it a little gas, a little bit of choke. I think it runs pretty darn well for a free lawnmower. I can use it now to cut around where, well, the wrong side, because that's where the C60 used to sit, but I sold it last week. Anyway, uh, I use it to cut around stuff. Got my truck over there, another stuff outside. So she runs good, she drives good, and it had brand new blades on it. Well, I got it. Not a nick in them. So basically, I did a bunch of work to it, set it in the barn, and then gave it away. But hey, it worked out for me. What can I say? Nah, I didn't think she'd idle. Too cold. Not enough warmed up yet. But anyway, 
Uh, there's my 1997, I'm guessing. 18 horsepower, 46 inch cut hydrostatic Murray that I got, not a dime.